Hello, and thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is Thursday, October 15th, 2015. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Andrew James Arnold with JunkieMonkeys.com, joined by Grant Fierro and always Michael Medina. Always Grant Fierro, too. He's always here. Yeah, fuck yeah. All right, fellas. Let's do a show. Let's start off the show with, uh, we like skateboard videos. Adidas is making one. They've been making one. And they announced a premiere date of May 2016. Seems like a little bit of a, a little far away. I don't know why you even bother announcing it. I think that because, uh, just because, like, they're, it's very highly anticipated from, like, such a huge and, like, diverse team, you know? That, like, they're trying to just get all the hype they can for it. I mean, they talked about Plan B True for, like, a fucking year before that came out. They've been talking about that video for forever. I, yeah. I wonder I wonder if, uh, I think that's a safeguard, that's a safeguard date so that they don't have to push it back. Well, I think the actual yeah. video is coming out in the next month, but the premiere is a month earlier. The actual video is coming out? Like, for purchase, like, on iTunes kind of shit. But I think, oh, like, like in premiere. June? Yeah, but I think the no, premiere I is thought, the month I thought before. you said, like, next month. That's, was that's what I thought I heard him say. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, the next month. The like, month oh, after. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's make a new shit. Let's, <clears throat> let's make the video out to the public next month. But then we'll wait until <laughs> May 2016 until we have the premiere. That'd, That'd be, be crazy. A sick video, There's so many good what are you What are you looking forward to the most? Is, is it going to be is is like, still on that team? Who? Isn't Lucas still on them? Yeah. That's the most that's the most anticipated. I don't, I can't even choose one. There's I mean Bruznitz, Nickel, um Miles Silvis. I will always choose Bruznitz. You got to you got to tell me you're looking forward to some Nickel footage though. So. Oh, always, dude. I'm, 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 like, into the whole FA crew, honestly. But, I mean, if we're talking about Adidas, I always think of Bosa Nets first. Yeah, I mean, that's the first thought. Very and, successful. and, like, that, that, that dude is definitely a, Yeah, but, so like, I feel good. like Bosa Nets is one of those dudes that's, like, uh, like every clip of you, you see of him is just, like, straight gold. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. It could be it could be pretty much any trick, and it's you're just, like, yeah, yeah, that looked right. Yeah, Bosa You know what I mean? Is, yeah. I mean, I also I love I I love the really um, all the fact all the love that he got like over this like last week. Yeah, recently he's been getting a lot. Yeah, I love it, dude. It's fucking dope. Like a lot of people have just been posting clips from uh what's it called the old real video. Mm-hmm. And from the new shit too. Oh yeah, 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 the yeah. new one too. The, like that China Bank thing or whatever. What the fuck? I think it was. What'd crazy. you say? They're, like the China Bank fakey Manny dude. What the fuck was that? Oh. <laughs> That was Holy so shit. gnarly. I don't know how he turns his body like that. I don't know, man. I'm so glad that that guy like uh that that guy posted all over the internet, like from yeah. from that like one of the like the clips from that video that made it all over the internet. I'm glad it's one of those. Yeah, that was super sick. Yeah. Drew, did you watch that shit? No, I didn't. I did not watch it. You haven't watched through and through yet. It's like 15 minutes long. Through and through. What is that? The new real video. No, I haven't seen it. I didn't know Rio, uh, Rodrigo TX is on Adidas. Yeah. Yeah, is. we've uh, we've had this conversation before. I thought he had a pro model, and Grant uh, showed me that he just had a colorway. Oh yeah, for like the ZX Volk, or, is that what it's called? Something like that. One of those fucking yeah. things. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm hyped on that video. I think it's gonna be sick. Benny like, Fairfax is still on him. Wow. Ooh. Benny yeah, it should be good. I did not know that. I haven't seen much footage of it in a while from him. No, hell no. Long isn't he on time. Palace? I don't know. Isn't that isn't that owned by Baker Boys now? Mm, it's just a, that's just a U.S. distributor. Oh, I oh. didn't know Alec Majerus is on Adidas. Oh yeah, he's in gnarly part. Damn, he'll he have last part. He's a colorway. For, he's he'll a have color last way. part for sure. I call it Alec Majerus last part. It's a good oh, guess. oh, Mark Gonzalez gets some footage. Yeah, yeah, they're they're saying that he's going to. I hope I, so. I've read shit that said that he's like got like a good amount of footage for it. I hope so. I like the name. I think it's a cool name. Yeah, I, I do too. Um, what What's it called again? Away days. Days of, days days. Days of yeah. future past. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every time I think of Mark Gons, I think of Costin. You uh, before we started the podcast, you mentioned something about Costin. Says he won't do an interview. No, so, no, 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 no. He, won't he won't have an energy drink sponsor. 
Oh, an energy drink sponsor. Yeah, Good. he said wow. it. There was a um, Ride Channel post about it on their blog about a. Um, it was some like podcast interview Costin did with this skate shop. Mm-hmm. And um, what's the skate shop's name? Give him a shout out. It was I think it was called Ben G. N E J I. No, Ben Space G, like the letter. Okay. Um, like the letter, like right there. Anyway, um, and Costin talked about a lot of stuff. It was like an hour long. I listened to it like throughout different parts of it. Mm-hmm. And he talked about um, asked him about energy drinks, and he just said he wouldn't do it just because it's like um, he didn't want to like. You feel like he's telling kids to get diabetes if you had an energy drink sponsor just because it's so bad. He said or, that? Yeah. Like he's yeah. Like, I, like wonder, he, I wonder if it's he... It's paraphrased, but he used the word diabetes. Like, that was came out of Costin's mouth. Which I, I think is sick yeah, because those things are... Associated, associated to him who has diabetes. What? I wonder if he knows someone closely associated with him who has diabetes. I mean, I, I, he was I, just I, saying I that they're terrible that he, for you. Yeah, I think he's just saying that they're bad for you. They're they're terrible for your body. He said he's considered it before. Like, there's been times where, like, I think he said he's talked to, like, Monster, Red Bull, Mountain I'm Dew, sure like, he everyone. Has. I'm sure he fucking Like, he listed has. all the companies that he's talked to, but he just, like, couldn't. He said he just couldn't do it. Like, he's just supporting something that he doesn't support. I'm sure that it's, all, I'm sure uh, all three of those companies have been up his ass for years, dude. He is one of the most profitable and most marketable skateboarders in the entire world. Like, why wouldn't those dudes like he said throw he was, money at him? It's, it was really tempting just because the amount of money and like. His oh, I'm sure. I mean, he, he has a family. Like, so he like that money is gonna go to use, but he just. How many? Do, uh, do you know how, how many kids does Costin have? Does he have two? I think it's two. Yeah. Are are they both girls? Mm, no, he is a, a kid. Well, I so mean he, a boy. <laughs> All right. Oh, good. he has a kid, huh? Put it I in meant the to headlines. say boy. Put it in the headlines. Grant hates girls. No. <laughs> sexist he's a boy and a girl. He, Grant Wait, what's Fira his, his, is sexist. His son's, his son's name is so sick, I can't remember it. I mean, it better be like Prodigy or some shit like no, that. No, it's something really cool, but I can't remember it. I mean, the fact that there's a little costume out there that's probably he's always on his, gonna he's on his stay. Stay. My best friend Ooh. Russell named his son Costin. That's, that's, dope that's his up. first name? That's his first name. Costin that's Monroe. Sick. That's sick. <laughs> Shout out to Russell. Uh, and then so wait, good. let me see. Carlson also talked about his third Nike Pro Model shoe. You listened to the whole interview. Yeah. Oh, um, tight. where is it? You should link me on that later. Okay, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll <coughs> I'm definitely trying and, to check that out. And he he said, uh, what did he say about it? Well, oh, he said it's like some new technology. Like I don't know what it made me think of because I've seen this before. Is Kobe Bryant has a basketball shoe? They might have mentioned this too, but I don't know. He has a basketball shoe that has like a, it's kind of like an ankle brace built into the shoe. Like you could look it up and find yes. it. Yeah, I know shoes you you're talking that? about. Yeah. yeah, and it kind of sounded like they're doing that somehow, like with his third shoe, because like they were talking about it, and he like there's only certain things he could mention because it's like hasn't came out yet. Obviously, mm-hmm. they didn't want to like blow the secret. Yeah, I've but heard it's anything. something about like it's it's a high top or mid top shoe, and it has to do with ankle support. Because I asked him, they're like, like are you gonna make a low top version? He said. Not of the third one, like the first one's still out there. So if you want one of my low top shoes, you can get the first or the second. But like making the third a low top defeats the purpose. Like it's about the ankle support and stuff like that. So it's definitely gonna be like a highly technical shoe, probably That'd expensive. Interesting and, yeah. that he went with the approach where he has uh, he offers without throughout throughout all the shoes that he's had specifically with Nike, I should say, he's offering something different. Are they um are they still making colorways of the first one? Yeah. Like still currently, or like there's still colorways out there. Yeah, like that's what he said, and I still see a lot of people like wearing them. That I'm assuming yeah, me they too. bought recently. That's why I asked, cause like I don't really. I, like, I think they're gonna continue it for a while. I mean, it's a really basic looking shoe. I don't think it's ever gonna like no one's ever gonna not buy that shoe. You know, like I have two pairs of them. Yeah, I so, like them a lot actually. Well I never good. skated them, but they they feel like they're great. Mm-hmm. Oh, skated, I've skated them before, actually. I take that back. Yeah, I, I hope everyone has. I love that shoe. It's one of my favorite Nike shoes. Oh, yeah, you that's where uh, you quit America and join Nike, right? <laughs> yeah, every, yeah, everyone said that. Where's the America? Where's the America? I'm a big fan of that and the dunks. I love he, the got, dunks. he got kicked off the team, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Heath, Kirchart, Heath Kirchart said he wasn't meshing with well the guys. And then Scuba was down. Scuba, and Scuba, down. Scuba scooped him up. <laughs> Um, did you guys see the 
like hear about that Kimberly Diamond Cup contest at all? I yeah. heard. I just saw nothing. Okay, you I said, saw like a quick. Like, you said you said Kimberly Diamond Cut. Cut. Uh, yeah. Okay. My question is, what what is it though? Like, I don't really know what it is. It's like I think I'm pretty sure Maloof turned into that. Oh, okay. I know. Mal- I remember Maloof had like one contest in South Africa, and then like ever after that, it was just called the Kimberly Diamond Cup. So I don't know. It's so yeah. it's like is Kimberly like? It's a city. Yeah, I know I'm it's guessing. a city. No, it is a city. But like, I, is it like supposed to be like a, a Kimberly Diamond Cup? Is that supposed to be like the whole like? Big like allure of skateboarding in Africa is that that event? I guess I don't know. I mean, yeah, same. I've never really heard of anyone going over to Africa for anything else. You li- yeah, you, yeah, you mentioned That's Maloof. True. Is Maloof behind it? I don't know if it got bought out or how it turned into that, but like, they kind of like progressed into that somehow. Maloof but never I mean, hosted that event where they offer Chris Cole a million dollars, huh? Yeah, it never happened. Wow, interesting. But anyway, yeah, I mean, Nigel won. You guys in the ass. If you go to, there, I saw like a little, um, what's it called, like <coughs> montage from it, but I definitely didn't watch or anything. Nigel won. Luong got second. Yeah, I just saw like a bunch of. I got tagged. In a few, I got a few viewers tagged me in this uh, the Nigel post. That's like. You want a hundred G's? <laughs> yeah, and now he's talking like. He's all down with Luong. <laughs> yeah, he's like super yeah. humble in the post. Yeah, like, same. We're, we can both be winners or some shit like that. <laughs> or, like, something. Like, I forgot what it was, dude. I wish he posted a bathroom selfie with his yeah, money. I was just going <laughs> to say, dude. It was a long Look at all my money. You should have done a bathroom money. selfie with Kelvin. Oh, man. <laughs> no, that's, that's a little risky. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. That's oh, hilarious. oh, Kelvin. Oh, my God, dude. I meant to tell you guys about that. Some, uh, somebody tagged me and Kel... What the fuck was that? <laughs> Somebody tagged me. In. What is that? It sounds like a plane's going through your house. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> he sounds so high when he said that. Dude, I had <laughs> no idea what the fuck that was. Huh. All right. Well, anyway, um. It's gone now. Yeah. Uh, it sounded like uh somebody playing like a keyboard. Maybe there's somebody upstairs. I don't know. All anyway, right, so what's up? No. <laughs> yeah. Right. What's going on with Kelvin? <laughs> so okay. So somebody tagged me in his shoe sponsor, and it's like a Brazilian shoe company. They actually. Oh, he's a pro model. Yeah, and I was gonna say that he has a pro model. They actually kind of look like S, to be honest with you. Like they kind of like remind me of like the newer S shoes for some reason, or like a. What's DBS his shoe sponsor called? Oh man, I'd have to run back like pretty far. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really, remember. I, I really want to know. I'm gonna all just right, Google I'll, it. I mean, shit, that sounds like hell, dude. Google it? There's no way you're going to Google that. Yeah, I agree. Why? Yeah, Skate dude. Park of Tampa has everyone's sponsors if listed. You, if, yeah. I will get you a shoe sponsor in less than 30 seconds. I bet you, you won't. I bet dude, you I got won't. Okay, get me skate, a timer. Skate, skate, skate Park of Tampa isn't isn't always current. Yeah, okay, I got but I, if I see the name, I'm going to know he, that. Was he wearing that shoe sponsor during Street League? I don't think so. Yes, yeah, he was. Sure he was, dude. He's been on this company. Well, then like, you might as well go on Street before. League. Street League will probably be more accurate than Skate Park of Tampa. Gosh dang, but yeah. See, it, I don't know, it's called Q I X. I don't know how you pronounce it. Yeah, it's you, called Q I X. Kicks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Kicks. See, see how long that's wait, been true? Wait, did you find out Skate Park of Tampa? Yeah. <laughs> yes, man. I know it's accurate. I'm fucking mad. I googled it so quick. I literally googled spot spot Kelvin, and it came up. <laughs> yep, yep. Dude, was correct on that one. <laughs> I say correctly. What? That dude. Uh, I don't know, man. He's got some strange um sponsors. Yeah, Rockstar. Rockstar Energy, Richter Wheels, Vive Trucks, Quicks, Kick Shoes, Everlong. Oh, Everlong bearings. I don't know, man. Everlong. Uh, you so think that skate, um, so you think that companies you don't even know which one's good anymore. You think Manny helped him get on um, Rockstar? Yep. No, I think he was on them like before. I really ever saw him with Manny. Really? Isn't Manny on Rockstar? Yeah, yeah he's but, he's like he's like their face of skateboarding is Manny. But I feel like. What's his face? Kelvin's been on for a while. Do you, uh, Drew? Do you know? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really hoping you're gonna know who I'm talking about. Do you remember Javier Nunez? Yeah, I know I heard, who that is. Heard the name. Oh, he's Don't know who he, he's been skating Park. Park. 
Dude, okay, yeah, yeah, but uh, there's like more to it. He was one of the original dudes on Ammo, and then like, I guess he's not on there anymore. Oh we, yeah. I mean, I'm I curious as to why. Yeah, yeah, because he was one of my, he was wrote for City Stars. I'm pretty sure back in the day, because I remember him like very well. Like he was like yeah. in the whole hip hop scene and shit when I was younger. And I remember I met him at Supreme when I went to LA. He was a real fun, cool dude. And they had, uh, I remember they had his ammo boards up there when we were there. So I'm kind of curious. Oh about yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, ammo boards at Supreme. A, he has. Yeah, a, well, he was the manager. He was the shop manager. So it's like, why uh, wouldn't he? Does he have I a Sorry, I didn't really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the one I remember. The one with his face in the middle and it's like ammo across it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I don't know. I'm yeah. curious. <laughs> I'm looking at his his pictures like that, and it says ammo in the background. That's sick. Not phased. But yeah, what I meant to bring up was yeah, like like uh, like uh, Grant said, dude, he's been dropping some fucked up clips at Beeble's Park. Did you see his back? Like he went up to the, that bank thing and then did like back five on the tray flip. flip. Wow. Yeah. yeah, dude. There was there's heavier shit than that on there, Drew. Dude, if you don't follow him on Instagram, you should definitely uh take a look at that, dude. I'll, I'm gonna tag you in him right now, actually. Yes, please. Dude, yeah, All dude. Right. I'm, I get hyped. I get hyped when I see like these like these like old skateboarders or whatever, they just, like, come back with, like, not just a few kickflips here and there. Like, he come back with fucking bangers and shit, dude. I love it, man. He was also in the movie Kids, if you uh, didn't know that. I did not know that. Like, this fool just Nolly 360 did, healed over a... Did Calvin Hoffler turn oh, pro? Saw that. Did he turn pro for Emma, or was he already pro with another company? He was pro with another brand, I'm pretty sure, and then switched over to Ammo. Is that is that a fact? Because I actually do not know. I'm actually a curious I don't know. on that one too. Look it up. For some reason, I want to say that they turned him pro, but like I don't want to be wrong, you know. But like, I think Ammo turned him pro. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. But he hasn't been on though that on Ammo that long, correct? No, not that long at all. No. I read in an interview with him that he was trying to get on for years. Maybe maybe he got he turned pro discreetly after. After he won Street League. Yo, speaking of ammo, uh, fun, bro. Uh, Manny's dropping another part soon. Santiago? Really? Yeah, I'm hyped on that. Dude, he always drops is, some like crazy it, NBA be, rail uh, tricks. Uh, Fucking like, varial heel back 5 O's and shit, dude. Fucking crazy. Did you see Luan's part? I mean, sorry, Ishot's part? Oh my god, are we talking about push now? Yeah, we might as well. We might as well, dude. Yeah, hey, hell we're yeah. Gonna, we're going to see that on the barracks, right? Yeah, Ishad's part was fucked up. Go dude. to the last, it's like the last four minutes of the video that you're going to click on. Hey, what's push again, Mike? Could you tell me for the fifth time? Are you I'm joking? Gonna, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking with Thank you. God. I was going to no, say, I'm not even going to explain. That's honestly one of the, that part was, I don't know. It's crazy, like, how he can do everything. It's definitely my favorite one so far, I'll say that much. Well, that's cool, the Barracks logo, or the Barracks font, uh, the Barracks logo with title with, Mountain Dew font. Um, yeah, well, anyway, Sean. I'm watching it now. He's in yeah, a car. You're going to enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, you got to skip to the last four minutes of the video. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. yeah, that's how they all are. That's how all the push videos are. Like, yeah, like the beginning of it's just like a recap of his episodes. And then it's I like thought, I mean, I you, should, see, I mean, you see what all the real guys uh, posted on Instagram with him grinding that double kink drill, 50 50 ing it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's from the real video. He also 5 it, doesn't he? I think the 5 might have been a different kinker. Hey, I know he 5 a kink for yeah, sure. Was Does that shot He's... have a cookie sponsor? I hope so. Dude, I swear he, like, enjoys kink rails, like, more than anyone, I feel like. Like, he goes off on kink rails. Yeah, he's into that. I mean, okay, like, no, more like, than Niger. Gravet, Gravet. I Niger. Oh, Gravet. Okay. Oh, that's a good yeah. one, too. Yeah, that's Gravet a good one, too. too. But I Gravetta feel like a lot of king. people just do 50s, and I'm not like just a 50-50, but like they're insane. But like I feel like he will maybe do a kink reel that might be a little bit smaller, but more than just a 50-50, you know? Who's the I first think... to do a Grant? Who's the first to do a kink reel? No idea. I know you know. I really don't think I do. I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go ahead and say Mark Gonzalez. I thought, I thought it's Pat Duffy. I have no idea. I don't know. That's I thought, so I thought you were like. I thought you were trying to stump us right there. Yeah, I, thought, I, thought, I thought maybe I stumped myself. I thought it's Pat Duffy. Oh, you're probably right, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I would 
That's my not guess is Gons, just because it's Gons, and he's that's some shit that he would do. Oh, I thought Gons oh, was the first to do it. Oh, oh, holy shit! Yeah, I just I just got hyped. I just got hyped. Do you remember in uh, Shaz's part where he board sides? Woof, that's what I was trying to say. That that's why I brought oh, up this whole kink situation. Oh man, that was a that game was, changer. Not that he didn't fall. I mean, obviously, maybe he did it on one of the attempts, but I don't know how you can possibly not fly forward. Yo, getting that, onto the second part of the rail. I bet you so many people have looked at that rail and been like, oh, it would be cool if I could that do it. That rail looked like it was in the middle of nowhere. Though. It looked like it was in the middle of nowhere, dude. But, like, at the same time, if you're a skateboarder, you know where spots are. Yeah. Okay, that and the front side flip. That, dude, that God. board side was so fucked up. I'm, like, going to, like, be thinking about that one for a while. Oh, that that one is, that's one of the craziest looking and street the rails banger, I've ever seen in my the life. The oh, yeah. was ridiculous. You know Westgate boards with that real? I don't doubt that. But they shot had to one up them. I just don't doubt anything that either of those dudes do. Okay, and it shots train flip frontside fifty down the rail. Oh yeah, yeah, down the round rail too. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, he does like a line frontside half cut peel and then kick flip back smith and then he does train flip fifty for sure in a single clip. Yeah, I just saw that. Super I was just sick. like the second yeah. you said that sentence, I was watching it. It's a, so round it's a round rail. It's a round rail, right, Drew? Yeah. I think it might be square. He, really, he doesn't really push oh, onto those trade flips. He what? He didn't really pop onto like his trade flips. I'm surprised he got on with that trade flip 50. Yeah, I, I, was doing a, I was doing I was doing trade flips the other day, dude. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of you. Ooh, that front side heel flip over the rail was nasty. Go back. Go back. All right, All right. go back, player. Go back. Yeah, go, you know what? They have one of those 15 second. Those 50 second like that they have on Instagram. I mean, not on me on Instagram on uh, Netflix. What do you mean? The you go back 15 seconds by clicking that. It's oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I, I mean, cool. I, I'm surprised when you watch Netflix and I even watch Netflix anyway, players. Oh me? Yeah. I've I've been watching Shameless a lot. Oh no, I'm talking about when you have ladies over. That's what I was saying. Oh. Uh, you didn't get. Uh, you didn't get it. You didn't get it. I just saw that board slide uh, landing on that platform that you're talking about. That's dope. Oh, that's no. That was sick too. But we're talking about this other one. No, uh, we're talking about shit. something entirely different that you. Okay, but absolutely not. That board slide where he landed on that ledge was sick. All right, if we're gonna talk about the push project, we gotta talk about old girl. I knew this was coming. Well, What'd you why, think? Why man? did she cut? Did it come out already? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. the TC just came out last week. What do you think, bro? Be honest. Don't talk shit. Just be honest. I mean, I don't know. He's too hipster to not hate. I'm, I'll, I'll say my honest thoughts. I'm not hating on it. It's like, obviously, she's good. I don't know. Do you I just like, can't be honest. Okay, let me, answer, let me ask you guys. That's let me ask you a question, then. Do you feel like she's progressing? No. <laughs> I feel like she should be able to, like, flip her board more. Yeah, dude, I really want to see some kickflip grinds, baby girl. She, she's no lazy. Like, at major. least on a ledge. She could at least, like, flip into a ledge. I mean, hey, I that. agree. She's clearly very skilled. I think she needs to learn some new tricks, and I'm, that's all I'm going to say about that one. Hey, but her, her part was dope. The spots that she skated were really cool. That yeah, there's so many up. sick, like, hip spots that she skated uh, that looks so really fun. But then she'll do, like, a nollie uh, inward heel, and we've already seen that. I don't know, dude. What's her best uh, trick? Nolly and Rio and tray flip? Front feeble. She has a really good front feeble. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I'd say those are probably her best tricks right there, yeah. Ben Rayborn's part was cool. Yeah. Are you oh I was gonna oh I meant to ask you because you're one of those hipster kids, dude. Alright, so are you into Rayborn skating then? Because all he does a lot of hipster tricks, but he does them on gnarly shit that hipsters don't skate. So what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> the way you say these things are so weird. Um, well, yeah, I like his skating. But like, okay, uh, like he does, he does your no complies, and he does your little fucking where you take your feet I off. I don't think he did a single no comply. No, nah, nigga, he definitely does no comply. Like, Watch his part. In his sure, part. Yeah, I'm pretty positive he doesn't think no. one in a pool. That's not a no comply though. It's absolutely a no comply. What the fuck is it then? He didn't no he didn't no comply, he just took his foot off and put it back on. No, I'm pretty sure he no complies off the coping with his foot still on this way. No, he, he does a fakey bonk and taps his foot and then comes back in. That was probably my favorite trick in the video, but it wasn't no comply. Hey that All front right. that front side flip, can we go back I just to the shot real quick? Let's go back to Shad. That front side flip that he did over that wall, I think Dylan Oh could yeah, do it was that. fucked up. Oh Dylan could probably do it, but Dylan is off like 
chilling, to be in Dylan. Okay, well, that was still in. <laughs> true. How did that not surprise you? That was insane. Yeah, it was I love it. It's such a Dylan spot. I gotta watch the Tcs. Let me see how much she progressed. Mm, she goes to bigger spots. I'll say that much. But I, I want to see different tricks. Like especially, um, if you're, especially you if you're like trying Ben's to get. Part? What's that? Did you like Ben's part? The duh. Well, the duh. You know what? I, I thought it was sick when he went in that pipe thingy, and then they had like that bar he needed to like pump over. Oh, oh, yeah, it's yeah, hard to yeah, describe. Yeah. No, no. You know, about, I think I had to see you do it with your head for me to yeah, understand. Yeah, the pipe, the pipe, and they had this bar, and it's like, the front side, and then I know exactly. Comes to her back side, I was like, whoa. Dude, that, that shit is sick, man. I don't know. I think that um, I think he's starting to um, not get as much love because of the hard ass shit that he skates. Like, dude, Cause I, I thought it was sick that he had a clip in Jordan sweatpants. Did you notice that? Yes, I, oh my god, I totally noticed that. I absolutely noticed that. I, I feel like a, a lot of the Nike dudes are getting Jordan gear. Who I mean, else? They can get no, they somebody want. else, somebody at Street League was wearing Jordan something, too. I've seen Piro skate Jordan stuff. Oh, uh, fuck. I've yeah, seen Street. Trevor Colden wear Jordan shirts. Remember uh, p Rod and Street Dreams? <laughs> You said what about P Rod Street Dreams? What'd you say about it? He's got Jordan gear on the like the entire time. Um, whenever Leticia wears that headband, I think of uh, Gonzalez, David. David. Oh, that not only what he was dope. I didn't say it wasn't. I think the whole part was. <laughs> I just okay. Want... Wait, let's get on a Gilbert real quick. Oh, we're gonna talk about the Salt Life. Salt Life. All right. Be honest. How many times have you watched it? I think only twice. Watched it five times. What's Salt Life? I would like to watch it more. I need to watch it again. It's, it's Gilbert uh, Crockett's new part on Thrasher. No. First oh, okay. Dude, that come that's, out? Uh, two days ago? Three days ago? Yeah, I don't know. A couple days. Either I think it was or, Monday. Either two or three days ago. Super good. Holy shit, man. That hey, he's good. definitely up for Sodi now with Propeller that's and that. A, I was going to get into that. Yep, I was definitely going to say that. He's, it has that to. There's a lot of Sodi contenders. It oh, shot has to be in the talk. We're getting there. We're getting there. That's next month. Uh, oh, I, man, know. I know. I know. He's I taking over my mind, though. Me too, dude. We're getting there. We, we still got to wait for yeah. the RG video. And don't say that's not going to be heavy as fuck. It's going to come out next two weeks. It's going to be heavy as fuck, dude. I cannot wait for that. Miles Silvis is brought up. I mean, away days is until next year, but that's two big parts for him in a row. What? That's Where the hell is the, the ring? player. She didn't skate rink on. Oh, that's bullshit. No, she no, they teased it. She obviously did yeah, skate I knew rink she, on. Well, okay, she she didn't get a trick she at rink get on. It. She didn't her, get it. That's in her. It's uh, it's included in her Plan B sponsor me tape. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, <laughs> that's bullshit. You can't be using that iconic spot teasing. Dude, she, Ooh, that's, she that's maybe bullshit. she maybe she got broke off. Yeah, she did. Damn, I wonder, you think she tried, I bet she tried to nollie it. That's why she tried to nollie. I guarantee she either tried to nollie or a front 180. Front 180, huh? Yeah, take that shit down Street League. Hey, I, what's up? I'm going to look up Thrasher. I'm going to look up that uh, Thrasher video part. Salt, Salt Life. Salt, Salt Life? Salt Life. Gilbert Crockett. Yo, oh, it's so good, dude. I've watched it five times, man. I don't the know Ender was that. so sick. The last video I watched five times in this many days was definitely fucking Shango's. Hey, yeah. Mike, in the in the skate fillet chat, I saw you mention the Habitat Pink Floyd. Like oh yeah, one? I'm pretty. No, there's multiple boards. There like there's like four different graphics I saw, dude. Oh, okay, let me. I'm opening the. I've only seen one of them. I need to. No, look yeah, up there's one. yeah. Look up. I think uh, Tom Yato posted more, if I'm not mistaken. On Instagram. Yeah. I, I think it's wrong. cool because that's the second. Um, I only see one. The yeah, there's book? two. There's two. There's Dark Side. Oh, there. Yeah. That, that, no, that's the that's the top graphic of the board. Oh, it is. Oh no, look. Go then. Then go look. No, on dude, they had the wish you were here one. Yeah, oh, go on Habitat. Then, yeah, they're posting more on their on their Instagram. They are on their websites like every other skateboard. Yeah, company. what are you talking about? That's not the top. That's the bottom. There's two different graphics there. Uh, I'm talking about their website. Dude, this one. Yeah, they look sick. so sick. I think it's cool that they did that because they did the Future Islands one last month. Yeah, but we're talking about Pink Floyd, man. That's a way. I'm just saying, I think it's cool they're collabing with bands. I feel, yeah, I agree. I agree. No, that's sick, dude. 
That blue flames at the beginning of the Gilbert Crocker video was dope. Yeah, is that the new Thrasher logo? Is that just like uh, I, I think they just changed it up. So I think it's because of that. Up. I meant to talk about that. Too. For oh, you think so? I kind of um, yeah. I don't want them to. It was, I think it was just like the theme of that video. Yeah, I thought that. that I thought the um, that back lip where he like went through the newspaper thing was. I gonna think be in Gilbert there. Switch is highly underrated, and when it comes to the top Switch skateboarders of all time, I think his so much pop. Yeah, I was so just gonna much. say his pop is crazy, dude. How you like those garbage bag pants he's wearing, dude? <laughs> <laughs> he's looking like uh, I sh uh, Burl. He looks like uh, what's his name? There's like green, there's like green ones that he wears that look like straight up like they were made by Hefty. I can't think of his name. What's Burl's name? Elijah first Burl. Name? Elijah. I, I thought it was Elijah. They're both on Vans. I wonder if they get along. Why not? Why not, man? They probably skate the same stuff. Hey, how's this stuff in New Jersey? Where's all the spots at? Is this Chicago? Where is this at? New York? Where's he live now? I don't think there's any Chicago. I didn't see. I didn't notice any Chicago shit in there. I don't know. Is this New York? You know where this stuff is at? Salt Lake City, because it's Salt Life. It's Salt Life, huh? I have no idea, honestly. Now, that's Why is it good? No, that's interesting. You might be right. Or maybe he's salty. <laughs> what? You think maybe he's salty about the fallen mystery deal? Uh, uh, no, because now he gets Vans money. Yeah, why? Well, I, I would never want to be on Fallen. That sounds terrible. <laughs> his his Fallen part was one of his best parts. What's your What's your Fallen contract? We'll give you free shoes and then fucking Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> why did they blur out that pole? Oh, I know. That was so weird. Stupid. <laughs> oh, it was a light. It was a light. It wasn't yeah, a was, pole. Was I, thought it was like a, I thought it was like a long dick. John Dixon? Slash? Who's over there? On Fallen? <laughs> yeah, dude. Chris Cole. Yeah, Chris Cole for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Slash... Um, yeah, Slash and John Jamie Dixon. Thomas. Are the whole team. John Dixon. Isn't, isn't Garrett Hill back on him? No, I don't think so. He's on filament, I thought. Where? Yeah, no, that's what I thought. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. Oh, oh. yeah, speaking of filaments. So were, the, were those filaments or were those uh, circas that Neen has been rocking? I can't tell. I think he, I think he had circas on in another video, too, so I think that's confirmed that he's wearing Circa? circas. Circa? So he's getting boxes, at least? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where's his, his, where's his the pro flow boxes? Kirby. Yeah, Kirby. Yeah, Kirby. Kirby's on right. Fallen? No. He's <laughs> <laughs> not making jokes. Oh. Is he? Yeah. yeah. And good. I know I and I know that Windsor uh fucks with like the uh, Shake Junk crew too. Yo, I have to go. Do you? We well, gotta go poop. Interview thing. No. <laughs> I have Wait. to like leave. Remember I sent in the text? Yeah, where are you going? <laughs> I have to go to an interview downtown. All right, hey, good luck. We hope, we hope you get employed. Uh, that's, okay, thank you. All right. All right, take care, Grant. We'll catch you next week. Get out of here, Grant. Get out of here. You're wasting my time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's fucking hilarious. What's funny? No, I don't know. That's funny kid, man. Yep. What else we got on this topic list, Andrew? We did push Carlos Ribeiro. Oh man! Did, did you watch the Battle Commander? I did not. Did they? Yeah, did, they launch, did they launch the? Did they launch the? The Battle Commander? Is that was his pro? Uh, his pro? Uh, yeah. Part? Yeah. They like hinted at it, and they were like, uh, "Big announcement! Fucking coming soon! New pro Battle Commander! New pro shit!" So it was like, either it was gonna be like a Shane one, or it was gonna be Carlos Ribeiro, and it was a Ribeiro. I can't really say his last name right. I don't think Ribeiro. I don't know, but it's either I thought it was either going to be one of those two. So obviously, like it said, like new pro. So Shane's been pro. That doesn't really make sense that he would be a new pro. So it had to have been him, and then it ended up being him. If you watch uh, the battle commander, it's fucked up, dude. I'm watching. It, I'm watching it right now. All I'm doing is watching. I feel like I'm watching video parts. This podcast is being me watching video parts while you guys commentate. Yeah, but now I'm by myself. I need you fucking. Well, I'll give you input. Damn, it's not that long. It's only two minutes and eighteen seconds. Yeah, battle commanders are never really that long. Hmm. I'm pretty sure like the the original ones were like only like a minute long. 
But no, dude, if you notice, uh, he skates, in my opinion, he skates, his style-wise is a lot like fucking P-Rod. Like, not just because he likes to skate switch. I feel like the way like they, they set up for tricks is really similar. I can see that. I see it. What's he wearing? Oh, he's wearing Nikes? Is he on Nike? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's on the Nike program. Oh, he's on the... Is he on the official program or is he again just the? No, I'm pretty flow? sure they like they support him for. I'm pretty sure they like they rep him. Hmm. I mean, he's got he's got the right pedigree for it. He's under Primitive. He's under Paul. Yeah, but so is uh, Nick Tucker. But he's not getting that yet. No, he's on Diamond now. He's wearing Diamond footwear. They're gonna try to make him like the face of that shit. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Him and Chaz have been rocking the Diamond footwear. This guy really likes his ledges here. That's what he does, man. But he, like, does cool tricks. He doesn't just do, like, the same ledge tricks that you see from everyone else, you know? Do you, uh, would you say Felipe Gustavo is under that? Yes. That's exactly who comes to mind when I say when I think of that. I'm not even trying to hate. <laughs> I, always get, I always get shit from people because I talk, like, talk shit about Felipe, but, like, I don't. Like, I understand that he's amazing. It's just that his skateboarding doesn't excite me because I feel like I've seen a lot of people do the shit he does before. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. So his, if I, if so I want plan watch, B, yeah, go ahead. If I want to watch a ledge dude, I'd rather watch like Corey Kennedy or someone like that, I guess. You you consider Corey Kennedy a ledge dude? No, not like I mean he can though is what I mean. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Ledges. I definitely wouldn't consider him a ledge dude. I don't know really. Like I guess I just was like thinking of a particular ledge trick in my mind, and that's what made me say that. All right, I'm a I'm a I'm gonna list these three. You got. That was a good part. You're short. I wish it was a little longer. Would you Would you put Carlos? Would you rather see Carlos or PJ? PJ. I'm different era. I'd rather see PJ do skate flat ground than a lot of things. Speaking of eras, this guy doesn't look all that young. How old is he? Who? Ribeiro? Ribeiro? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's a good question. He looks a little older. He looks like he's 28. 29. I know that I know that he's been around for a while because somebody I forgot who it was, but somebody posted a clip of him. From like 2010 or something, and I had never even heard of him back then. Mm. He's been on LRG for a minute. They're still if making. A, they're still making a video, huh? Oh, LRG! It's supposed to be out within the next few weeks, dude. It's gonna be fucked up. Is he still on LRG? If I'm not mistaken, there's supposed to be a full part from him too. No way. I'm a dude. I'm really like. Uh, I'm gonna do a post that's like top five pros to go pro this year. I was wrong. He's 24. Last updated on October uh, 12th. So he's 24. He's not all that young. No, no, definitely not. I mean, not all that old. I mean, Autobahn. No, Autobahn isn't around anymore. Yeah, it is. My shop has him. I think. Those are wheels, correct? Yeah, I'm pretty sure my shop has. I'm pretty sure Mark Appleyard rides for them. Appleyard. No, there's a no, there's a pro right there. Missed that guy. Yeah, fuck yeah. Is that more skate footage? So, uh, there's been a lot of, uh, what do they call those crow catches coming out? They did one with Riley. They did one with Tony, Jeremy Rogers. Yeah. Another one I feel like that they came out with. Uh, isn't Jerry Sue supposed to be on one or something like that? Had one. Jerry uh-huh. Rogers. Jerry Rogers confirmed that he uh he admits that. He's been he's been poor ever since he retired. What's your take on that? It's pretty obvious, huh? I don't know, man. Uh, uh. Mike, you, know. have, you have an opinion, Mike. On Jeremy Rogers? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, dude. I think he's kooky. That's about it. I think he was an excellent skateboarder. I don't know what, what he uh, decided. I don't know. Well, he said, <laughs> he's, he, he said that... He was surprised that a lot of people were mad that he retired and to do rap. But he said he'd rather be – because he made a lot of – you know he made $15,000, $12.5,000 a month. $12,500 a month with one sponsor, and that's Red Bull. Yeah, and they dropped which, him like a bad also, habit. Yeah, which is also more impressively for Eric Costin to go back to him and his energy drink sponsor for him to not take that type of money. Yeah, I mean – I'm sure he's rich enough with Nike. So – yeah. He, Jeremy says he'd rather give up twelve point five thousand dollars just for one sponsor, not to mention uh, Plan B, DVS, and all the other sponsors. Yeah, but I'm if I'm not mistaken, all those sponsors dropped him. He didn't quit. 
Yeah, they, yeah, I'm sure they did. Well, yeah. they, they're paying him to skate. If he's not skateboarding anymore, well, then what's their Here, – Here's my thing, okay? Sure. Um, why can't you do both? I figure he feels like he can't do both. Why? You'd have to ask him. I don't understand what makes what makes you think that if you get off your skateboard and do drugs and you're going to be a world-class rapper. I don't understand. I don't I guess I don't understand his mentality behind the whole um I'm going to retire from something that I'm making money in to do something that I'm extremely not that talented at. I With all know. that talent that he had, he said he'd rather he'd rather be poor and do what he wants to do than be rich and not want to do it. But what changed? That's, I guess, is the question. I don't know. Some some people get into different shit, I suppose. I don't know. Only he I, don't, I guess I just don't understand what made you be – like. it's not like he uh, he quit skating to go play fucking soccer or to go pursue a different sport or something that was going to take a toll on his body. Like He quit skateboarding to be a rapper. Yeah. I don't – I don't see it, man. Let's get into the – do you have any more topics? Because I was going to go straight into oh. the questions here. Ah, question it up. Question it up. We love your questions. Let's see what you got for us today. Hopefully there's not very many for Grant since he's not here. Yeah, there might not be. There might not be. There might be. We'll see. Uh, you, know, you know I like how we say we're going to do trick challenges and we never do them? Yeah, I, man, I keep forgetting. It's the problem. No, I just, I rolled the shit out of my ankle yesterday, so I'm gonna be off my board for like a probably like a week. Oh, well, was it from doing all them trade flips? Yeah, it probably was. Honestly, I heard on a back fifty, but like the I really was doing a shitload of trade flips the other day trying to get them down. Uh, not many, just five. That's cool. It says uh, uh, and I just got done talking about it. Samur Isis, I guess Jeremy says uh, was being sarcastic. What do you guys think about him bragging about his Red Bull money? I don't think he's the bragging type. I think, I think he I, absolutely is the bragging type. Why else would he be no, talking about how much money? No, he made? Mm, I don't do think go, so. All right, Drew, do you go around talking about how much money you've made? Ever? No. About anything? No. Yeah, me neither. I don't think a lot of people do. Chris Chandler says, I think Nunez left all his sponsors and went full Supreme. Oh, really? But know. Supreme doesn't press boards. That doesn't really make sense. Well, they don't. I know. Not their not their own decks. I know that they do like collabs and shit. Right, right, right. Like you can't just go to the shop and buy a Supreme Board Shop deck or nothing like that. Oh, this is a great this is a great question. Grant would love this one because he do he do. All right, the question is: Lori Williams says, if you were if you were a team manager, what ten of your favorite skateboarders would you want to hook up, past and present? Oh, geez, past and present. Yeah, well, we all know Grant's answer would be all the quasi and mother. Uh, Converse. Con soccer. Converse. <laughs> if you can get everyone on Team Handsome and everyone who wears glasses. Get everyone, everyone on the Supreme Team is uh, Grant's choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what would your team be, brother? Oh, man, that's a gnarly question. Ten people? Can I just do five instead? Yeah, five's fine. Yeah. Ten's a bit much. I'd pick – I don't know why, but I definitely want Kevin Romar on my team. Cool. Yeah, I love That's that dude. Cool. That dude's got style for days. Uh, who else do I choose? I choose Stephen Lawyer, obviously. Yeah, man, you are the biggest Stephen Lawyer cheerleader out there. No, Stop. 100%. 100%. Stop. Stop. That dude's a G. 100%. Uh, That's cool. I'm trying to choose like newer dudes. Uh, Shad for sure. Duh. Corey for sure. And Shane. And uh, Cameo Wilson. What? You didn't choose Shane? Nope. Oh, Cameo Wilson it is. Yep. I'll go Reynolds, Paul, PJ. Nah. Reynolds, Paul. Garrett Hill. Jared Hill, you like that dude that much? I like him a lot. Yeah, he does six. He probably has the best shove it's in the game, dude. He does them down big shit. I'll throw in there. Uh, Ronnie Krieger? Give me Ryan Gallant. Oh. 
Backside my, nose. My last choice would be. Give me Herman. It's be Herm. Legend. Give me a Herman. You pick. You picked like OGs. I'm an OG man. I know. I, 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 like, I wanted. To, I, like I wanted him. to pick new dudes. I wanted to pick new dudes. Eh, new dudes are cool, but new new dudes are already. They got. They got enough shit. <laughs> they got enough shit. Let's give the old guy something. How yeah, for sure. Feel, how do you guys feel about Corey Kennedy lately? He doesn't seem to take skating seriously, which is cool in my opinion, but kind of hard for hungry and unable to turn pro. I'm particularly thinking about Josiah. Dot dot dot. I don't think that he doesn't take it seriously. I think he's just having fun, man. Absolutely. I think he doesn't, same thing. Skateboarding doesn't have to be Nija. It doesn't have to be Street League. I agree 100%. He's got the sponsors that are clearly supporting him, so it's not like he... Yeah, he's just having fun. Right, and when he is putting out footage, it's like jaw-dropping shit for the most part. Mm -hmm. And I know that he's still like he's still like touring and he's still like going around with the teams and shit. Cause I know he came to Chicago when um, for like go skate day or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Christian oh. says, "What's got? What shoes are you guys skating right now?" Uh, still the DC Wolves. I've been trying to go skate actually. Grant's been able unable to fulfill my my wishes. Tried going skating. Yeah, the other day, Tuesday. Hit up Billy Jackson. Yeah, I think he was working, and I need to get my fish eye back from him. So yeah, I need to. Uh, I'll probably. Uh, I'll. I'll admit I didn't try to hit up Billy. I should. Oh. I think because Billy's always scanning that damn park. That fucking park. P PQ Park. I heard it's the shit. Why didn't we go there? It was being constructed when you were here. Oh, for they sure. They did. They did renovations while you were here. I think we've talked about this before, actually. I think we have, and I think you're trying to give me a hard time. <laughs> What well, shoes am I skating? Um, yeah. Huff Choice. Is that a pro model or is that a team shoe? Team shoe. The choices. Well, that sounds good. That sounds like a podcast to me. For Michael Medina and Grant Fierro, who had left us and banned us hours ago. He went to take a shit, I think. Oh, he went to do an interview. Oh, yeah. I am Andrew Ayan. This is Skate Play. We'll catch you guys with the news next week. Take care now. Bye-bye, then. Bye-bye.